joys of high school sports. The whole town came out to welcome the Lavernia baseball team back to Dripping Springs after the Bears won two games on Saturday to clinch the first berth in the state tournament in school history. Just that kind of spirit captures what makes high school sports so special. Absolutely love it. An entire town rallied behind the DeHennis yeah. Cowboys as well as they claimed their first state title. DeHennis set a state title game record with nine stolen bases and the aggressive mentality pushed them out to an early 7-0 lead after the first two innings. But a huge rally by Torino threatened to undo the Cowgirls title bid. Down 9-7 had the bases loaded with no outs in the seventh inning when DeHennis turned a game-saving double play. Infield fly rule then turned into a double play when Chirino runner on third tried to break for home. One out later, the Cowgirls were state champs for the first time in school history. Hey guys, welcome to Sports Tonight. We're here with the victorious DeHennis Cowgirls. They are the 2019 state champions. A big part of that is Marissa Santos. Marissa, how proud are you of this team and this community? I'm so proud. We've been working every single day. We've been wanting this all year, and this is what we came to do. We got our business handled. Senior Chloe Cowan. Chloe, what did it take for you guys to step up and win this game today? Oh, my gosh. We put in 100% every time we step out on the field. And today, just to have the win pay off with all our hard work, it was so amazing. I'm so excited. DeHannis, how proud are you of these girls? <laughs> Guys, it doesn't get much better than this, and I'm having a great time. The party's in the Hannes tonight! <laughs> Marcus, you have <laughs> way too much fun. <laughs> For the first time in school history, it took the dramatic rally that has been the norm of the Bears season for the second straight round. Lavernia rallied to win two straight after dropping game one. Yesterday, they did it against the Liberty Hill team that had won 27 straight games dating back to March 2nd. But the Bears were ready and swept the Panthers 5-2, 5-3 to claim the historic berth at state. We just grinded out. We knew we had to, we played for a reason, and uh, we just wanted to get the dish full club we are right now. Oh, I was not, not nervous, really. I mean, we've been, we've been in tougher spots, but just, just ready to show what we could do and pull it out on the end. I, I guess our mentality really didn't change. Our kids have been this way all year. Um, you know, it started kind of last week with, or I guess two weeks ago with the dog. We had to go three. And uh, then last week, we lost the first one. and had to come back and win the sec uh, second two. Uh, but, you know, our kids are tough. There's no, there's no, no question about that. Well, Blanco has been there before, but a long wait since 2007 to reach the state playoffs has come to an end after a sweep of Bishop. The Panthers trailed 2-1 to one in the seventh inning and had just one hit in the game before erupting for a five-run inning. Blanco's defense also played a big role in the series, holding the Badgers to just two runs in both games after Bishop had scored in double digits 18 times during the season. Coach, it was one hell of a comeback there. Describe the emotion for the team. Oh, my God. We've been waiting for this for so long, for so long, and for Baylor Smith to step up and do what he did, and our pitcher, Daves, to gut it out for six innings was awesome for our team. How proud are you of these guys and the, and the grit and the fight that they put into this? These kids never quit. You, this game is, 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 is an example of why they, they never quit. It's until the last out. Can you so describe the, uh, the community support behind you? It sounded like a, a low, well, you know, micro crowd. I think we've had more fans tonight and Thursday than we had combined the rest of the dang tournaments. I mean, they, they show up, man, when we get this deep. Yeah, winning helps a lot. Oh, heck yeah, it does. So what's the next step for you and the boys? Uh, we got one more week of practice. This is our goal. Uh, we'll see who we play and when we play and have fun doing it.